Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and I have a little surprise unboxing that I didn't even know I was going to get. So, start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright, guys, so here we have a case from Subcase, and this is a Unicorn Beetle Pro. Now, this is a case I did not expect to get on the channel. But I actually did get an email from Subcase and they told me if I was interested in being a part of their program to get free cases or whatnot. So I'm finally glad that I finally have a Unicorn Beetle Pro case on the channel because I've never got one. I always want the one, but I was kind of hesitant, but it's finally on the channel and I got something for the iPhone 10. So let's start off with the box itself, guys. So on the bottom, you do have like a little hologram there and it says subcase and it does have drop protection and it has a military standard drop test. And on the top, you have subcase on the side. There's nothing here, but it's a big box, man. It's almost like a phone case box. So you definitely know that this case is no joke. So if you guys want to pause this and read it for yourself, you definitely can. And you have the logo for the unicorn beetle right over there. So this is for the iPhone 10 guys. So let's just pop this baby open and see what I'm talking about. There you go. Man, this case is so big. You need a styrofoam the size of this to actually make it not get damaged in shipping. So you have a QR code. Before you open this package, please watch the video. So what do you get here? You got a happy... And a not happy card. All right. And this is not a sticker. Oh, it's a sticker, but it's attached to the plastic. There you go, guys. Subcase is finally in the building. Wow. So it definitely reminds me of an OtterBox case. And the back of this kind of does as well. So we have the Unicorn Beetle, guys. Let's just get this plastic going. So if you guys have a job that's, you know, it's pretty hands-on and you're afraid to actually drop your phone, especially if you like clip cases like these. Um, it should work as a kickstand. I'm not positively sure on this. Uh, probably not. But there's no harm in trying. So let's just pop this BB open. Separating front casing from the rear case. So you basically have to peel this open. I'm definitely used to this. And on the side, you do have that ultra grip right over here. And you have subcase over there as well. And that's about it for branding. So it tells you how to open that. So that's pretty dope how they tell you something that I haven't really seen. Another case company actually do so on the inside you do have a built-in screen protector which I'm probably going to just pop out and it does have a film on there so you have to pop out the film on top of the film but this looks like pretty easy pop off so that's clean and you do have a nice and sturdy TPU there and inside, you do have a nice little pattern there. Um, it's almost like a suede pattern, you could say. Subcase designed by Brillo Tech Incorporated for the iPhone X. That's dope. So let's just put this on. Let's see if I could pop this out because I don't need it. And I know a lot of people like to use this, but I don't. All right, guys. So I'm going to put it in right now. Simple installation. Very tight fit, by the way. And we're going to pop the second part in, just like that. And this sticker is still there. All right, so we're going to pop this in place. All right, there you go, guys. You just have to play with the sides and make sure that everything's closed up properly. All right, so... You have that nice grip on the sides there. Put that to the side. Check that out, guys. So here's your lip action. A 
ton of lip action on the camera. See how it is in the front. Of course, that's looking crazy protection there. So, okay, so let's see how it looks in the belt clip. Just like that. In, and you put it on to whatever you want to clip it on, your belt or your book bag or whatever. I want to see if I could try to make this into a stand. So I don't see the little metal part that's supposed to be for like a stand here. So you can't really do it that way. But let's just see if you could reverse it. And just watch movies like that. That's in the case. So you definitely can. Oh, look at this. I don't even need a kickstand. There you go. So that works out fine. So the power button is clicky, guys. That's pretty good. And on the volume up and down, it's good as well. And you do have a flap for your mute toggle switch. And you do have another flap here on the bottom as well. That's for your lightning port and for your one speaker and your mic looking thing as well. So you do have these little lips right here. And you're able to just place your phone down. Just like that. You don't have any issues so I do have a tempered glass actually under this and I just want to see how this works this is a test with the phone and it is pretty good with a tempered glass shout out to BG tech life and shout out to everybody else all right, guys, if you guys want to see more products like this, I will have a lot more products coming on the channel. So follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the iPhone 10 and subcase products. So to the next video, guys, peace.